Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tropico 3 Absolute Power. Right, timer on. And this time the mission is going to be shoot the rocket. Term of office 30 years. Our island is in great is in a great predicament. The previous president has left with all the money in the treasury, and the rebels are growing more numerous each day. There is only one way out to build a nuclear missile, a nuclear program, and fire a giant missile to wipe them all out at the same time. A money-hungry warmonger has a rocket for sale, but the price is too high. Can President they manage to gain enough support, lower the rocket's ludicrous price, and build it in time to stop the rebels? Mission objectives, construct a nuclear program by the end of 1997. 1979. In order to win. Right. I think probably a general would be more uh, appropriate. Uh, better head, come on. Nah, the pipe is probably better, and I'll leave the rest as it is. Right. So we need to g collect a lot of money fast. What would help us with that? Man of the people. Yeah, I'm not really worried about the loyalists. It's more about actually a war hero might work here. Um, what kind of rebellion do I pick? Uh, let's be capitalist. Yeah, factory workers production is probably best. Alright, we need to be uh, hard working and entrepreneurial to gain the most from our exports. Right, and you know, womanizer is actually fine. And let's be a cheapskate. Right, next. Presidente, you have assumed power just in time. The last Presidente left the island with the contents of the nation's treasury and, understandably, the general population is in a rebellious mood. A lot of them have taken to the forest and are planning subver subversive activities. All is not lost, as I have a plan. I have contracted a warmonger who can help us build our own nuclear program complete with a giant missile and a launch site. We will become a force to be reckoned with for all our neighbors and get rid of the rebel problem with one swift missile strike. His power comes with a price tag though. Well over one million! I hope we can negotiate a discount. I hope so too. Alright, so we have not much to work with at the first. Let's see, what what does the island give us? All right, decent, decent corn fertility. But again, these corn farms are not very well placed. In fact, they'd be well, they'd be better suited for uh, tobacco. But I might just demolish these anyway. I'll leave them up for now since I might use them. But anyway, so uh, banana. Papaya, pineapple, well, pretty much everything grows we interrupt well. this program for an important announcement. Wake up, people! You are being deceived and brainwashed by the lies of the oppressive regime you call government. My name is Betty Boom. Follow me, and I will show you how deep the rabbit hole actually goes. Mm -hmm. Right, so coffee is pretty much out. There is very little sugar fertility that we can actually use, only a very few small spots on the island. But at least it's a big island, biggish island, so we can use that to our advantage. Alright, so we've got a few iron deposits, very rich ones too. No bauxite, one gold, which is of average size. There's five oil deposits, so that's probably going to be one of our biggest income 
Um, I guess where's the other one? All right, there's one off the coast here. All right, two here. There's one over here. Mm. This is gonna be tricky. Uh, fishing is all right, I guess. Is there any logging? There's very few patches of actually usable wood, as far as I can see. So logging industry is probably not going to be a very useful solution. So I'm going to guess pastures is going to have to be do have to supplement some of our industry. Export prices. Let's see. Uh, hey, uh, coffee is all right, I guess. Jewelry would actually be great. That's definitely average price. Um, cigars, cigars are excellent. Llama wool is also great. Uh, rum is normal-ish. Weapons are above average, I think. All right, so well, we can work with that. Let's uh, let's get our industry set up. All right. So first, let's put the corn farms where I can actually do some good. Once I've set up the mine here. Actually, there was also oil here, wasn't there? Yeah. Gonna be sinking. Gonna be stuck in pollution for a great deal of time. All right. And we'll loop that around. Just to make sure that the traffic will f keep flowing. Uh, we don't really have any housing though. That is also a situation I have to solve. Uh, well, anyway. Uh Corn, and let's also make the road access easy enough. High priority on that. Now, we're going to be facing many challenges in this mission, not all of which I am familiar with, because uh, it's been a it's been a while since I've played. But we're going to get lots of opportunities to reduce the price of many goods, and let's also put a circle around the palace. Right, let's run for now. I've got 59 people. Could be more, could be worse. All right, let's get starting on the more basic necessary structures. The diplomatic office. Actually, get the literacy program started right away. What matter requires president pay attention? All right, and where can I put down the tobacco? Well, over here would would do nicely.
right, let's get at least one tenement going. And the garage. Again, hydro on the garage. And let's also finish the, Are the you office a rebel? National that, that is fine. Alright, so where's the oil dip slick? It's right up here. Alright. We'll road around that. And now that this road is finished, let's connect the mine. This is Betty Boom, and today I'm furious! According to trustworthy sources from the palace, our treasury is as dry and empty as the Sahara Desert. And President should be reminded that he needs to stop wasting our tax money on buying cars and apartments for his concubines. Juanito will try to tell you otherwise, but believe me, we're broke. Remember, you learned it here first. Right. Well, there is some beauty on the island, but it's going to be tricky to set up a tourism industry if I want to do that. Probably gonna designate this whole area for housing if I don't tread on any mines. How much was raw gold again? Uh, raw gold is it's decent. Well, since we do have the school, it's probably a good idea to get that started as quickly as possible. Alright. That's the USSR development aid. And I'll wait for a little bit of support. Yep. Alright. A few more tenements, and we'll be all set. Tobacco. Tobacco and... For now that'll do, because I need to attract more workers. So I'll also set up a marketplace. And some entertainment. Right, now, what kind of people did I get? Education-wise, one college worker and a lot of high schoolers. Hmm. I just don't have enough people. Right, eight new immigrants, that should help. Right, what let's matter give a hand. requires President's attention? The high school is filling up nicely. Alright, score wise, we just need one we just have one objective. Presidente, yesterday while I was tending to my pet llama, I had a brilliant idea. We can contact the world superpowers and try to secure extra funding for our nuclear program, making it cheaper to build. Both the US and the USSR will want us to have us as an ally after we complete the missile. The negotiations will not be easy. You need to achieve more than 80 relations with the US or the USSR in order to get on their good side and secure the funding. The best part of the plan is we can try to obtain funding from both nations. Let's just hope that our program is complete before they find out what that we've been dealing with both sides. Alright. And we've already completed it. Hee. 
Oh, we could have defeated both of them. Sweet. Comrade Presidente, we are overjoyed that the comradeship between our great nations will be strengthened by the greatest symbol of eternal friendship, a giant nuclear missile. May your rockets fly fast and true and obliterate your enemies. Due to recent amendments of the Positive Broadcast Act. Now let us enjoy some music. And next, the How Big Is Your Banana Talk Show! Alright, no more spending until I can get my factories or my base productions going. It's enough time spent on housing. Dear President, after careful consideration, the U.S. Committee on Weapons of Mass Destruction has decided to approve the funding for your nuclear rocket for peace project. <laughs> Remember that upon accepting our funds, you must reserve 60% of the rocket's surface space for advertisements and other promotional material from our sponsors. Well, it was that easy. It probably is that easy to get funding from the U.S. If you want to build something which has uh, mass destruction in the name. Alright, come on. I really need to start finishing those things. Alright, what's the occupancy? It's not bad. Could be better, of course, but first I will need more workers. No church. Yeah, I got that right. No church. So let's get some more immigration going. And let's also build a garage over here. High priority. Greetings, Presidente. Mad Jack is my name, and Devolution is my game. My revolutionary friends keep telling me that the old government is evil and oppressive, and the only way to free the people is by destroying buildings. Many buildings. Maybe they are right, or maybe they are not. I intend to find this out myself. Yes, I found the present in one of your farms. I hope you will like it, Mad Jack. Well, I was planning to destroy that anyway. I, for one, would put a lightning rod on my roof, just in case. All right. I got a little bit of unemployment. Uh, let's set up the gold mine. And... Hug the cliff's face with the road as much as I can. Uh, come on. There. Perfect road. They're protesting. What is it now? Silly peasants. Don't you see that your protesting only makes me stronger? Probably not. Alright. Get another construction office. That should take care of most of the unemployed by now. Alright, so how much does it actually take for me to build the nuclear program? Right, we're still not quite where we need to be. 
And that's... Can I ease it? No. Still two more months. Greetings, Presidente. Now that I have your attention, I want to ask you for a little favor. A friend of mine feels... Uh, feels oppressed by the way the government is treating the people who are a little different. That is why I want you to issue the same-sex marriage edict in the coming three years to correct this. I want to see how liberal and open-minded our leader can be. You can start by constructing a media building on the island. Who knows? This might even help you with... This might even help you with my little task. Do not let me down, Presidente. You will not like me when I'm angry. Well, indeed I will not. But we'll see about that next time.